They say kill people with kindness. I say kill them with 900 rats. Hello, everybody. My name's Mayhem. I'm just. I'm Duke, and today we're back with another episode of Pokemon Xenoverse. What the fuck were we doing? I don't remember. Also, we no swearing the in the two first <laughs> couple, first two minutes. We killed Galvantula. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the ice type Galvantula. Oh yeah, I tried catching it, but it didn't fucking work out that way. Swearing. Oh. <laughs> we yeah, got some don't, cool Pokemon. Don't let the. <laughs> it's been a little bit since we last played, so Egyptian. bear with us as we. Get our bearings again. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, this bitch is a shiny. What is this shit ass nature? Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but I really don't appreciate my bug find up having less attack. Yeah. No way. Right, well, uh, I just wanted to. I last time I just really wanted to know that the other one evolved into this guy, and I was right. But we got, um, but we got Electivire. Electaburst. Electaburst. Steam wheat. I Electaburst. I uh, love him. Gives full immunity to all ground type moves. Which is so good, because I'm four times weak to ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, permanent member? Permanent member? Uh, yeah! He's been. You know who I'm talking to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't get rid of Electaburst. I'm at Oh god, we have two wars plus new Pokemon. Okay. Yeah. Um, we can get. I. I you don't I like think Lancelot? A, I can. I can. I can deal with no stim. Uh, with no um, Lancelot. I just wish. I just wish he didn't have poison, poison swamp from yeah. Dark Souls. Yeah. Fuck this game. No, just, <laughs> just like before. And I can't backdash to make myself go. Yeah, the same reaction. Faster. <laughs> so uh. Uh, there are three other games, by the way, that I am keeping an eye out for. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, when it comes to fan games. Uh, it was uh, the one made by Loxton and Login. Yeah. Uh, it made by his fan community. Uh, they're making a game for his fan region he made. Yeah. So I'm keeping an eye on that one. Okay. I'm also keeping an eye on a channel called Subjectively. They had a uh, fan region they made. And it's also getting a game made by fans. Wait, go, go to the box, go to the box, and see who we can replace Lancelot with. And finally, the one that I've been watching for ages is uh, one made uh, where it's basically an Africa-based region. Hey, okay. I think it's called the Luico region. Interesting. Keep an eye on that. I I feel like it's it's one... I think the easiest thing to do with the Pokemon region is just pick a... What, what place the region is. I feel like that's the easiest, because you can make a Pokemon region out of any anywhere. I went for region based off of um, Eastern Tran Europe. Transylvania, so. yeah. So what would you guys go for? I would definitely do, like, a... Um, I would do India. Really? I feel like India is, like, the best Pokemon region place that I feel like they should do. Yeah. What about you, Jinsu? What, po what region of the world would you make a Pokemon region in? Um, probably okay. something like that, you know, like maybe maybe India, Saudi Arabia, because those regions haven't been done yet, and uh, they could do a lot with them. Yeah, with lots of lore. Greece, Greece, Greece would be cool. Um, I think a what's a <laughs> what's an old the Mycene Mycenaean or the the ancient Greeks before the Macedonian Greeks. Yeah, Mike and Ian. Mike, yeah. The Macedonian. I'd love to see it, like uh, one of the next God regions that actually takes place in an ancient time. I think wait, uh, the uh, the one that we got rid of, the fighting type one that's above Hungtail. Yeah, I think we I think we can bring it back. Yeah, Remember I think it's stupid. Fine. I think it's fine to have stupid. After long, after thinking about it long and hard, after thinking about things not because it's easy, but because it gets me hard. Because it gets me long and hard. Long and hard. I think it's fine to keep stupid. I now regret listening to you, Dimwits, last episode. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? We ended up back where we were started. <laughs> this is Kung Fu. Technician is so good. It's too fucking good. This move kind of sucks because I can't use Technician with it, but these three with Technician? Like, what type is this fucker? Just pure fighting? He's fighting normal. Normal, normal fighting. So we got Technician boosted fake out, priority Technician boosted stab fake out. Uh, so that's like a 
fucking ice beam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, power up punch, which is about the same as this, but now it raises our attack. Yeah. And then storm throw, which always crits. <laughs> Interesting. So this Pokemon is gonna carry us. <laughs> <laughs> what about Stimwit? You don't think Stimwit will? Stimwit. Stimwit. Who's Stimwit? Oh yeah. Uh, I mean he's gonna be good. But... Be... No problems. While you guys do some stuff, I will be right back. You're dying? It, well, yeah. All right, everybody. This is Duke's last episode. He's going to go and die. <laughs> I remember learning long time ago that injuries from when you're younger will bite you in the ass and. Well, I learned that real hard because, yeah, my wrist is fucked. That's how life works. I still remember landing directly on it. Oh, oh God. Did you I... snap your wrist or something? No, I just uh, I uh, smacked it real hard on uh, uh, the tiles. Oh. Uh, like, directly. Playing with dogs. Fall forward. Gone. Oh, yeah. It was hurting real bad for a long time, and now it's just like that of every so often I had to grab some pain meds. So you're, you're gonna go snap your arm off, yes. Uh, I'm yes. gonna go get pain meds. You're gonna go snap your arm off. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pain meds translated into Duke. Sonic Boom. <laughs> he got stuck in the door. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do any reliable amount of damage. Well, it's, you're also a pure psychic type, and that's a bug. Yeah. Bug flying. Send out the steam wheat. Oh, moron. I need other people to get leveled. Yeah. Mayhem? No. <laughs> no. Only over level one Pokemon. <laughs> Have one Pokemon at level 70 while you can only handle level 40 Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Have you... What, what was the... Has there ever been a time where you overleveled a Pokemon over the amount of gym badge level that you're able to have a Pokemon under? When when I first played Crystal as like a 12 year old, 14 year old, I grinded before the Elite Four. I grinded my Pokemon to level 75. Jeez. I got them all to the 70s, and then uh, because because the the Game Boy Color emulator was so fast, so oh, yeah. so I did it in like. I did it in like 15 minutes. Wow! <laughs> and the 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 Gen 2 Elite Four, the first time you fight them, they're like still in their 40s. They're, uh, they're like they're like oh, in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're like in the late 40s, about to be 50. And then Lance, the champion, is in like the mid 50s. So yeah, he has two Dragonites that are not supposed to be Dragonites yet, that are lower than level 55. Yeah, which is bullshit. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but like, has there ever been a time that like? You haven't gotten the fourth gym badge, which means Pokemon over the level of 30 won't listen to you. But you accidentally went over. Oh no, that only applies to that only applies to traded Pokemon. Tra oh, yeah. If you if you raise a Pokemon past the 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 gym badge, then it doesn't matter because you raised it. Oh, you know what I thought happens? <laughs> that your Pokemon just stops li like Charizard. That was just a character thing. That was just something they did to make the character more interesting. And I, it did. It did make the character more interesting. And yeah. they never did it again. Weird. They never did anything interesting or smart with Shore ever again. And Isn't then it? they killed Ash. And then they and then they killed Ash like seven times. And then they didn't let him die. They kept him for all <laughs> the fucking He's dead but still in the plot. <laughs> also, I think that I think that Hipster who, who is this dumbass hipster? Hipster. Hipster. <laughs> no, no, I dress up like him. He dresses up like me. Fuck. <laughs> Except I don't have a stupid er, looking beard that is. Yeah, I have a good looking beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do this first. But yeah, I, I oh actually, god, he's a poison over. type, and and that was a dark type move. Yeah. You don't think the snake would bite? Obviously, the snake would bite. You stupid. Stimbisu, steal. Ah, I need a flying type and a ground type. I don't have those two types. I'm well, we'll replace shitty. <laughs> or smart on yeah. Shitty. Our starter? Yeah. The plot relevant starter? The, yeah. the one game where you actually need your fucking starter? <laughs> I probably I probably should get rid of Shimbasil, but I really like Shimbasil. And Steel Poison's really good. And it has a Toxic Yeah. Wait, why the fuck does it have a Toxic Because you gave it one. We had one, and you gave it it. What does it do? I don't know. Fuck it. Okay. Yeah, but, but good. 
But um, but yeah, I, I legitimately thought that like if I over leveled my Pokemon above like the level forty or fifty thing that it tells you, that each gym badge tells you about, I legitimately thought that means that your Pokemon stops listening. No, that is exclusively for trade Pokemon. Really? That's cool. He's back. He's dying. So Shit. how'd you hurt your wrist exactly? Okay, so I was playing with the dog. But when you tell the story, please get on mic. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, 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 you did, you did tell the, how you broke your wrist. Why did you get? Why did you get like a wrist support thing or like a fucking? Didn't realize it would be bad. I was like sixteen or fifteen. It hurt, and you didn't think to give it support. Well, no, it hurt for that day. And I was like, it, basically. So the story is, I was playing with the dogs. I was having all this fun, and um, uh, the person who built our house was an idiot. <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a pretty <laughs> dumb house. Was a shimwid. Uh, uh, <laughs> basically, you know how in the living room there's a about foot long fall. There's a foot drop, yeah. There's a foot drop into the living room. Uh, I slipped on it, and I went flying down and landed directly onto my wrist. <sighs> and you didn't think to give it support. <laughs> you, well, you full body weight dropped on your wrist, and you didn't get like a wrist brace or something. Yeah, no, I didn't realize I would need to. Uh, luckily for the longest time it felt okay, but then. After I'd say about a few months, I would start having uh, this thing where, like, every month or so, my wrists would start aching a bunch. Oh, jeez. Get a wrist brace. Get a, uh, uh, don't, don't finish the story. Just get a wrist brace. Get, get a wrist brace. You need a wrist brace. You know how you got it, like, seven, eight years ago, and it still hurts? Yeah. <laughs> so get a wrist brace. You're going to have to get a wrist brace. And don't you. take pain meds. <laughs> Just get a wrist brace. Duke, I'll, uh, when this episode's over, I'll give you the um, my wrist brace. Yeah. I won't give it to you beforehand because I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Man just realized what he said and then got to go get it. You got two mics in front of you. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel like I'm a politician. I'm so scared of how that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> a politician with all 70 mics for all ooh, for all 40 <laughs> for all 40 newscasts. Arg. Yo, this Pokemon's slow as shit. <laughs> and weak as shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Here isn't the wrist brace. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have both mics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, I was just saying a second ago, it could be the best or worst sounding thing ever. That just made me think what would happen if you sat in the middle and all three mics were pointing at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hair across, hey. Okay. Did you... Hold on. What? what I do? It might be feeling a little bit weird to you because it's in the right-hand configuration. <laughs> Take it off. This, this is supposed to be... with that. So what you do... Take out the metal piece. I was not given instructions for this. I was just throwing You this. fucking idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Don't take now that rest. off until you sleep. Now rest it. Yeah. For a good way. He said something about Heracross. Five, you did great, Heracross. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was the voice you were giving? What was that? <laughs> now that the Duke treatment title hour is over. Title of episode. <laughs> Duke is breaking down. <laughs> Duke fell on his wrist and started jerking off. <laughs> Duke hears no, a lot. No, no, no. This hand is for the phone. This is, <laughs> it's my non-dominant <laughs> hand. Look at that tree. Look at that tree. You can cut it. No. Mama level. <laughs> Mama level. One of my favorite things that we do is just uh, you you actually using different languages for relevant stuff and me just not. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way. Shit. Okay, I want to do this. Let your poison build up stop. Yeah, You're gonna get poisoned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you gotta let the poison drain, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm positively tweaking. That hiker down there literally just took me to, to the, the back to the beginning, yeah. To, no, 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 to the end of the swamp, to the end, to the end, not like the beginning area no, that we to were. No, the, to the end. He actually took you to he the just, other side. He just let me finish. The, like, How I long like, 
long take me to the other side <laughs> how long how long till we get copyright struck <laughs> <laughs> what pokemon looks like ooh, ooh toxic hey we just got toxic in mystery dungeon now we got toxic here isn't that great that we're doing a dual playthrough at the same time? No, it's not. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> 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 no, it's not. I hate you. <laughs> Most of our he's, team's able to. He's learning. Hmm. Should I keep toxic spikes or should I? Uh, toxic spikes I, think, toxic. I think toxic is better. It's more because then you can actually poison the guy who's there. Yeah, but this is good for like other Pokemon. But yeah, like, if I'm like fighting a lot, if I'm fighting like a, a hard team or something, I can do this out. What it, and so I would say toxic now because like we're not really going to be going against any difficult teams. And then eventually if we go against the Elite Four and know that they don't have a steel type Elite Four dude, then put in toxic spikes. How about I give it a rapid spin? That's <laughs> also a very good argument. <laughs> Three poison type moves and one steel type. You know, I'm just real, I'm just remembering right now uh, something kind of weird when it comes to a lot of these Pokemon fan games. Yeah. The look of certain Pokemon. Older fan games like Xenoverse, like, uh, uh, what was it called? Uranium? Yeah. I notice a lot of their fake Pokemon are bizarre enough that I can't tell exactly what they're trying to be inspired by. Sh Shimbasil is honestly, I think, the most terrifying one. <laughs> I think she's just a top. Yeah. I think it's the top. Like a top little girl ballerina thing. Who's metal and poison somehow? <laughs> yeah. I wonder. Yeah, that's the question. Why is it metal poison? I I guess I my guess would also be that they, my usual guess for Fakemon looking a specific way is that their evolution or pre-evolution makes more sense. Fucking so, suppose. So I hope that it does evolve and whatever evolves into it looks better. <laughs> it it also brings up like the question of why is there an Egyptian cat? For... Like, what is this region? <laughs> it's Italy. And you know how Italy... Had... I know the Italians made it, but I'm just curious if it actually is an Italy-based region. Oh, I say no, 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 no. The islands looking, like, tropical that we've been on. This forest, this doesn't look anything like a... This poison swamp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think... We haven't seen any desert stuff or dunes or anything like that, or rivers... It was it's like a, very it's a Pokemon piece. region. There's going to be all those. I wonder... <laughs> it's America! <laughs> We're in the Everglades. Assume everything is America, because America owns the well, world. Like, this is definitely a step up, but like I look at Uranium as the example of... When I saw like that game being played, my biggest problem was that I didn't understand fully the reason why some of these Pokemon existed. What, what region was it based on? I have no idea. I just know that, like, there was some weird-looking guys. It was, like, this weird, uh, like, dragon head kind of diglet-looking motherfucker. Oh, interesting. A lot of very bizarre-looking Pokemon, I'll say that. The, yeah, that's the thing, too, is that sometimes you have to be very careful to not have over-designed Pokemon. Well, that was a the thing. They were under-designed. Well, most I, most I of the Pokemon in uh, Uranium, absolutely under-designed. Really? Okay. That's at least my opinion. Okay. I really feel we gotta check it out. Like, after Xenoverse, that'd be a good idea of, like, the next game we play. Didn't we have, like, two others that we had queued up? We, we, we did, like, a... We, got a we did, like, a ring up. toss, yeah. Yeah. I think, few... I think it was between Uranium and Xenoverse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had Uranium, we had Xenoverse, we had Ultralight, which was that um, roguelike Pokemon game. Interesting. So th so this is the way forward. This is the next time. Really? Okay. Then we can. We literally go? just has you skip the whole fucking swamp. Hey, that's are why you sick of this back. shit? Hey, are you sick of this oh, shit? Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what was it? Uh, the other one was yeah. We had Ultralight, which was the roguelike one. Uh, and the last one was Olympus. Olympus. I think it was also roguelike. Which, interesting game type to have for Pokemon. I figured that that'd be one of uh, Jinsu's favorites, funny enough. What? Roguelike. Roguelike? I do like roguelikes. Yeah, Wait, check, check the map. But at the same time, roguelikes are very fucking tiring. 
Like, they're fun, but, like, it's so easy to just get completely, like, stuck in it. What is it? That's your, that's your hoverboard. F5. Oh, yeah! F5. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> your reaction to it? Yeah, stupid! <laughs> Maybe focus on her as a map? Or is the wait no is the map just one of the other options on the on that thing? <laughs> That's so weird. Where's the? Where are we? <laughs> there it is. Can you read it? No. Who's this? Evelyn, a Pokemon made of paper that evolves on a paper cut. That's easy. Chigami. That's cool. That's a Pokemon we'll run into, I guess. Chigami. Chigami. Well, hello. Oh, <laughs> shit. My friend's obsessed with cosplay puzzles. Look, she's. Can you talk to her again? <laughs> no. Talk to just Joy again. <laughs> I find that kind of funny when you get the fan game and like you look at all the new Pokemon or the new uh, Pokemon trainer or whatever's, and it's just so many hot characters. It's like, whoa, whoa. They weren't afraid. Wait, wait, wait. Just go back, go back, go back, go back. Nope. In all fairness, the Pokemon Company is also no longer afraid Fucking when you bitch. look at some... Wait, what? Did he... You must be a real snitch. <laughs> Favorite Pokemon trainer? Cynthia. Cynthia. Ooh. Cynthia. Kill him. Jesus Ooh. died for him. our Cynthia. Yeah. yeah, that's the question of best girl, basically. Um, I I think my I favorite trainer... Like, like, trainer trainer or, like, just, like, character... Character, uh, Pokemon NPC. Pokemon NPC? Yeah. Oh shit, what the fuck? What the fuck? Dodge oh, him! Okay. Dodge him! Yeah, oh, that's really cool. Yo. Yo. <laughs> that's awesome! Instead of the wait, wait, wait. Oh, Kidon! 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 Um, I think, I think my favorite trainer would have to be... Uh, Skyla? Scott. Mm. Oh. If not, if not Scholar, then like just trainer in general from like Pokemon as a whole. I really like Paul from the uh, from the anime. Yeah, <laughs> they because he was a real piece of shit. He was a yeah. real piece of shit, and then like it, it, the like... Pokemon show had to bring in an asshole for a rival for Hash. <laughs> I I got one of it might be a bit of recency bias, but Nimona. She's a generation back. You're good. <laughs> yeah. It's just, dude. Everything about her was just like, this is fucking great. I, I can't, I can't ever deny the, the Cynthia. Understandable. Oh, there actually, is. another strong contender. That's like a close second. That is absolutely from care. Oh, bitch, he crashed into something. What do you mean I crashed into something? I didn't fucking touch anything. Oh, <laughs> uh, what, what was her name again? Oh, I actually forgot her name. The, the rival in, um, in Scarlet and Violet. Nimona. Scarlet yeah. and Violet rival. Yeah, uh, Nimona. It is Nimona? Yeah, it's Nimona. Nimona. Oh, I was thinking, I thought you were, I thought you meant, um, Nessa. Nessa. Nessa is still great. Yeah, I, I thought you were talking about Nessa. She's a version exclusive gym leader, right? No, no, no. She's the, she's the water. The, she's the water type one. You, you were thinking of the ice type lady. Uh, Mela. Yeah. But, uh, but Nimona. No, I, I know, I know, I know, um, well, I just forgot her name. You guys oh, just there's also B. Uh, yeah, for Bia, the fighting type. Bia is also a uh, version exclusive. Which, yeah, Bia, tough, <laughs> a tough woman. Oh, what? Damn. I already passed it. I'm going to complete this fucking mini game. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask her too. Because <laughs> if I if I get the item at the end, then I get to what? Very okay. bizarre hitbox. Okay, think of it not as a lure, but think of it as a literal box, like a square. Think of it as a square. I know, they made the fucking hitbox not accurate to the size. I've been hitting shit that I've not been touching. Yeah, <laughs> like, how am I supposed to get through this? Okay, like that. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I did it. Oh, yeah. The oh! oh! Beery giri. Beery giri. Get him. Please. Oh, God, it's a fucking trout in, in mating season. <laughs> <laughs> Find me a river to swim upstream in. I've been gooning. <laughs> I need to release with a mate. Do you know where I could find one? <laughs> Should I catch it? Or yeah. I yeah. yeah. New Pokemon. He, looks, he looks cool. New Pokemon. He stored up energy and then just used water gun. Oh, perfect. I forgot. Actually, best uh, uh, characters. Uh, nearly forgot. The teachers in Scarlet and Violet. 
she almost look did. wise some of them get that mouse off that screen that, that's what i'm trying uh, th that's <laughs> what you try reaching for your mouse <laughs> force have it brain no brain no but uh, dude the pe teacher oh yeah and the nurse oh the nurse there you go there you go all you have to say was nurse holy shit isn't it jinzu have you seen the nurse no isn't it interesting holy that like shit. They make they make her an actual character and not just Nurse Joy. Like Fuck. actually, yeah, I like that. She goes through her whole like uh, character arc of the fact that like she's returning to school to uh, finish her education and become a doctor. Ooh. But then there's also Nurse Joy's. But um, oh, I forgot, fucking history teacher. They know. Oh my god! Electric the water. Electric water. A lot of electric types. There's a lot of electric types in this game. Uh, the history teacher is a tan skin beauty. Goddamn. <laughs> it it is very interesting. I did not to like see. the math teacher. The the math teacher literally says, "Hey, what ha How many pokeballs do you have if you buy ten pokeballs? And the options are ten, eleven, or twelve. Which one do you pick? <laughs> and if you pick." 11 because you know that you get a premier ball she goes nah you get no it's 10 i said how many pokeballs you get when you actually would actually have when the no, premier ball reverse that she says how many pokeballs and uh you answer 10 because uh it's a math equation okay. she goes actually you get a discount uh, you get like a free uh premier ball so it's 11 oh she does correct oh she does it that way i can't believe it Take this, take this money and my rod too. Oh, we got him a better rod. Take this, twenty five hundred dollars and my penis. Oh, my rod. My special rod. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, Jinzu. Now imagine somebody asking you, "How many Pokeballs would I get if I did this?" And you say the correct amount of Pokeballs, and they go, "Well, there's also the Premier Ball too, so you're wrong." Oh, it just shits on you like that. Yeah. yeah. I saw that and I was like, ooh, I immediately really do not like the math teacher. I, I don't think that this is the right way, Jitsu. Nope, because I fought these guys. Yeah, yeah, you did. Go go uh, back to the uh, the guy in the swamp. This is the previous town. Yeah, the guy in the swamp, he takes you back to here. He doesn't take you to the next town. He takes you to the previous town. Oh, that was the beginning. How we've been getting these guys? <laughs> we've been getting sent to the previous town. I actually did get really upset about um, her side quest. Because all the teachers, it's actually kind of cool, they have a side quest uh, where you can build a relationship with them. Yeah. Okay. And the unfortunate thing is the math teacher, I feel, had the worst one. Look. Not you. Oh. I'm pointing <laughs> pointing out the direction that Jitsu needs to go. But the math teacher had the worst one, in all fairness, when it came to it, because her side quest was, I think there's a student who's been stalking me, and then you talk to them for like five seconds, like, I just wanted to ask her a question, but I was nervous. <laughs> that's her legitimate quest yeah that she's accusing a kid of stalking her that's hilarious yeah it, it's it's funny but i was like jesus christ she's also like a very she's she's an old elderly woman but she has like a djing rap career and when you know that's her, her sister is that the same character no it's not they're sisters oh uh, basically, the way they explain it is that the teacher used to be the rock-type gym leader, uh, but she retired and became a teacher. And so her sister did not. So her sister is a rapping ghost-type gym leader. I thought they were the same person. Nope. I like it when characters have relationships with one another. It shows that the world is it, alive. It's alive <laughs> that, in depth. That becomes the worst part of the fact that her sister is such a better character than her. Because, <laughs> like, she just shows up and is just like, yeah, 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 yo. And she's got a fucking pack of uh, ghost dogs that help her out with her performance. Yeah. And, and you see, like, uh, uh, all the ghost dogs just dancing around. And it's like, wow, she's fucking great. Yeah. Compare it to the math teacher. And, like, she, <laughs> she was, like, asking you... Doesn't she ask you questions in her boss fight, too? Uh... Uh, no, it's based on hype. That's the whole oh, thing. Oh, you have to p p pick the select, uh, the select the right option of like a rap battle thing that you're having with her at the same time that you're battling her. No, it was uh, <laughs> basically the more hype, uh, hype you get with the battle, the more that the audience themselves gives you boost in strength. 
Yeah. Like, if you, uh, um, terrestrialize, they're like, OH SHIT! YOU JUST FUCKING terrestrialize, And they give you a boost in strength. So you can either beat her, or beat her in style. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is one thing I give the new Pokemon games credit for, of, like, they get... They really do, like, give you a more fun feel to it. Now let's see what's up with these Agent Smiths. It looks like some rare Pokemon footprints in here. What's investigation? I don't know, pass. We do our research without us, you know, but I'll get to be proud of us. So in other words, we had, we're supposed to head south. South? This is why I don't like listening to people. What? We, we didn't know about that. Yeah, but you kept going right, 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 right. Because right, right, right. to the right, yeah, because then... Now and we... I wanted to go down. <laughs> I was going to say, I was also feeling down. Shut <laughs> <laughs> I still say that if they made a Pokemon game that's only the size of Kitakama, they would be good. No, fuck it. It's just GTA. <laughs> Pokemon, yeah. Well, no, that's what the new one's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, apparently the next Legends game, Jinzu, it's gonna be set in only Lumio City. I mean, I mean, fucking... So people pointed out, just imagine, like, like some people were like, I can't believe it. One city? That's ridiculous. And then somebody made a joke and just like, yeah, I can't believe it. Could you imagine a game played in one city? That would suck. Anyway, I'm going to go play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go play Legend Arceus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that loads a lot better than Scarlet and Violet. I did have a lot of fun with Legend Arceus. It's basically, the best way that I could put it is that Gen 6, like, you could tell they were starting to ramp down a bit because of the, of the 3D age. Of, like, there was problems here and there. Yeah. Gen 7 is good, but obviously you could see some problems there with, like, the the sequel games just being the, the same game. They had to... Majority. Whoa! Gigachu! <laughs> gotcha huh? Gachi Gachu. Gachi Gachu. God, this fucker can't read. <laughs> no, he cannot. You knew this. What would you pronounce that as, Jinzu? Gachi Gachu. Wow. Because it... it says Gachi Gachu. <laughs> Man, how'd you read that? Gachi <laughs> Gachu. <laughs> but, um, I was going to say, uh, Gen 7, like, it was the start of people starting to go like, hey, wait a minute. Gen 8 was really, like, the bad one, unfortunately, of, like, it was, it was, Gen 8, Sword and Shield were not bad, they were just, like, they were starting to actually experiment with yeah. the, with the open area. You, god, that is kind of what it is, like, early on in the, uh, like, when they move over to the next si systems, essentially, yeah. they have a lot of trouble, but then near the close of the of the generations basically they start improving yeah and you can see where they're improving i will give them credit you can tell when they're improving it's just they have the it's gonna be good there people are gonna buy it no matter what mentality that is still kind of gets in the way of things i got to hear i saw i was actually upset of the number of people that were cutting up his uh quote but uh the creator of pokemon apparently came out with a quote of just like he was saying, well, what I sometimes do is sometimes I'll talk about, like, uh, when it comes to satisfying all of our um, the players, uh, the number of people that come in and tell me, like, no, 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 for this next game, you got to do this. Next game, you got to do this. If I combined everything that you guys ask for, it'd be the worst game we ever played. And that's the weird thing, too, is that that's the mentality of it, uh, that I have that this one thing that someone says... I have to do everybody's when you No, very that's the much... thing though. That's what people are asked. There are some people that ask for the, what he was listing as like the requirement for the game. And it's like, no, this sucks. Hey, Pikachu. The example he gave was you would have only the original 151 Pokemon. It would be every region and it would have uh, uh, all the legendaries. <laughs> and, and he was like, that's an awful game. It's just... Yeah, what yeah, I... yeah, like the stupid specifics of like I feel like that's when that's like when you get the the suggestions of like everyone and then you have all the random varied like weirdly specific like I want this in my Pokemon I want this in my Pokemon game. Like I feel like when when you do cuz a lot of those people also don't agree with each other as oh, well. Oh yeah. yeah. So like when you when you when you combine conflicting 
conf- straight the straight conflicting ideas, then then yeah, it's gonna be terrible. It's not there's no that's, synergy in anything. That's yeah, why I say like good. whenever whenever they do like that whole we have to do all of them sort of thing, where it's like no, only pick the good things that people suggest. That's what we're saying. Use your okay. brain. Yeah. So, <laughs> in all fairness, I will say this: of just like that's what he's trying to make a joke about yeah, when it comes yeah. down to it. Of he's saying that. He can't satisfy everybody because everybody has such conflicting opinions that it's like, okay, uh, I want every Pokemon ever in this one game, but also only make it like Kanto. Yeah. And it's like, I can't satisfy all these that's why requirements. You ignore, that's why you ignore the stupid people. The stupid people, yeah. And like anybody who tries to say that only the 151 original Pokemon are like the only good Pokemon designs... Like you're stupid. You guys are old. You guys are old. You guys are nostalgia fa- You guys are nostalgia losers who are f- grew up in the '90s and '80s, and you can't let it go. And just forget about it. Just try. Just hipster. Yeah, yeah, the hipster guy, the hipster character. Oh my god, that's a that's a fucking guy who absolutely still believes that Gen One was the best. We saw him earlier, and we were just like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, he. You can't say that the first one is the only good ones because if you actually go back and play the original red and blue it's not that good (laughs) they're not good games the age definitely shows yeah if you want to play it play fire red yeah yeah and if you really want something new like you want to play gen one with like the new types and all the new moves and everything then play let's Let's go Go. let's Let's go Go. yeah we have basically the fact that there are options to play it but better and that that I think that's why that region gets remade the most is just because so many people think that it's the best one. Yeah, I mean that's I mean, how you that's how you pull in your older audience. You know, yeah. you just the you, original. You nostalgia, you nostalgia bait them in, and that's and they, why I and haven't they fucking take it. That's why I've on, I've never played Kanto uh, since uh, Pokemon Yellow, and then that one emulator attempt that I did one time with Fire Red. Oh, you didn't play Let's Go? I did not play Let's Go. I actually really enjoyed Let's Go. I, I I understand the appeal of Let's Go and more of like the whole like actually playing the game and it's updated and all the Pokemon's in there and and all that kind of stuff. It's just for me, I just can't I can't go back to the same place too many times. Especially since Kanto was the one that I didn't really understand. Like when I was little when I was playing Yellow. I was like, this game looks terrible. I'm gonna go play Ruby. Yep. That's basically what it was. So just for me, for me, Kanto is my least tied to region. Yeah. So that's why I'm also just like, let it go. Let Kanto sleep. <laughs> like let it. It's fine that it's a deal. That it's an end game area when you beat Johto. Like that's fine. <laughs> yeah. That that's how I see Kanto as a side note for Johto. Mm. That's how I see Kanto. What pisses me off the most about the Gen 2 games is the fact that you can't catch any Johto Pokemon until you get to Kanto. (laughs) And it's like, fuck you! Fuck you! That that was like the biggest reason why a lot of people got confused about which Pokemon were from each generation. Yeah. Because like, there were, there were so many, oh, Shmoron died. (laughs) Oh, survived. But um, that's why, what the, ooh! (gasps) Cometh! Cometh on this the Milky Milky Way King City's Kingdom. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Knight. Oh. An actual like oh medieval oh. town. This is Italy. <laughs> Ye old Pokemon Center. <laughs> that is really cool. This is a great place. Oh look, it's the uh, the banners are um Age of Slash. Yeah. Huh. Age of Slash arms. No, it's Dublin. Or Dublin. They harvested them. <laughs> yeah, do blades pink. Apparently, even involves teaches a very specific fairy type. Oh, okay, that's a new way to do that. Oh. Uh, huh? read, yeah, read that again. Bramand has four different forms. Are you shitting me? Wait, who's Bramand? This guy. Yep. Shit. This fucking game is weird as controls. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe we'll find another one. I would love to be able to find the other forms because holy shit, I can't wait for you to see what they look like. What well, what would be your bet? Four forms. There better be a fighting type. 
I think that they would be like, <laughs> it's a market. <gasps> Hi, Molly. Hello. Hello, mommy. I mean, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I think there would be like band members. Like this one looks like uh, the one that we uh, have Can right I get now. an extra shot of Moo Moo Milk? I mean, Moo Moo Milk. I mean, Moo Moo Milk. <laughs> Pepperonis. I think it, uh, they're going to be like band members because the one that we have right now looks like a guitarist. Like, it, it's Sprite was, like, looking like it was strumming in a... What route did we just pass, by the way? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't have any idea. But everyone's after the uh, the swamp or whatever. You can buy ethers? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. That's a first. I wish you could in the normal game. I wonder why they don't let you do that. I think it's just so it's more special when you get them. But, like, but that's stupid. But, like, they're useful. Uh, it's the Lepa Berry is the one that uh, restores uh, the power points, right? Yeah, Lepa Berries. Yeah, yeah I, I, I plant those constantly. I miss po I miss berry planting. It was very annoying, but I miss it. <laughs> okay, a thing I get to mention real quick because I say hashtag gym leader. <laughs> God damn it! But I went ahead and saved an image of it. Of apparently, so do you remember the storyline of Gen Seven? The whole thing that happened with Luzamine and all of them. Vaguely, not exactly, but yeah. Uh, the reason why she goes crazy is because her her husband was lost in ultra space. Uh, is this the Gen Five female character? Hilda. Hilda. When I was young. Wait. So, wait. Let me. Or I guess we're done. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Elmer, I want to teach this deal to my call Hickaloo. But, Hickaloo, but it but it looks like I can't learn it. You should take it. I wonder what move this is. Is it steel type or dark type? Well, let's find out. Right? M49. <laughs> let's see what it is. Echoed voice. Echoed so normal. voice. Okay. Projection. Uh, so it's pointed out that basically, um, uh, Lily and uh, what whatever the brother's name was, uh, their dad is missing. He's in ultra space, and yeah. so they actually pointed out in the anime. That, yeah, no, he's in ultra space. He's just fucking gone. And so she kind of goes a bit nuts and trying to find him. Makes her daughter look like another ultra beast. <laughs> in the show, they actually resolve that storyline. <laughs> in a very, very satisfying way that makes it so Luzmin is able to be a good character. Interesting. Do you want to know what happened to her dad? What? Died. Or is he... Is he Do the... you remember the Pocapelago? He's Necrozma. <laughs> no. He's the bean guy. Who the fuck is the bean guy? Did you play uh, like Sun and Moon? Nope. No? It's been too long since I've played Sun and Moon. Who's the bean? Who's the bloke that you... We gotta go see the king! What's, go that? What's that little dude doing up there? That's the, that's the electric bird. I... Oh! That guy. Like the little mini game thing that they have you do on the bottom screen. That's Luzamine's husband. <laughs> Yeah, we see it in the anime. They actually confirm it in the anime where they find him and she realizes he's living a good life collecting beans. <laughs> beans. It's crazy. And so it's just like, well, he's happy here. And she's able to live her life normal again. That's crazy. Remember how when Gen 7 was getting announced and we saw the Ultra Beast and we saw the characters and Not they... Hilago and and then saw... I forgot her name. The... 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 Girl, was her name Lily? I her L name. Yeah, Lily. Yeah, and then we saw Lucimi and that one Ultra Beast that looks like a woman, like the bug that looks like a woman. We saw, yes. a lot of, we saw a lot of there were there were those and like there was another guy that we were that people began speculating that the Ultra Beasts were masquerading as yeah regular, as as people. I I kind of wish they were like that was a part of a storyline where I was like that could be interesting, but they didn't do it. Swirlix. Virtual update. Meringue update. <laughs> Who are you supposed to trade these with? <laughs> no, no, you just give it to an item. Or you I'll go ahead and I'll look in to see what Pokemon it does what kind of thing. Well, it was Swirlix and the other one was Porygon. Okay. So yeah. But you, let's go see the Kaishu. You want to see the Kaishu now or you want to see him next? Did we Dekaisu. pass Route 10? Was uh what we passed? Right? I have no idea. No idea. Because Route 10 is where we get to see, I think, the other Bremen. Ooh. We'll probably look into that. But let's see with the Kaisho. Let's see. Ooh. Is it's this the, the gym. gym? It's yeah. the gym. Oh, little owl. I wonder what type it is. 
What do you think? <laughs> halt, knave. Welcome, for foreigner. Foreigner. If thou art hither to tempt fate, thee should know it's the gym is dissimilar to others. Three ordeals await thou behind these doors. The trial of fire is the first one. Once thou crossest the th threshold, there is no turning back. Art thou ready, trainer? Are you healed? May go and make God with you. Arceus be with you. Wow. I hope it's Whoa. a real... Hi, <laughs> Armin. I wonder who the bad guy is going to be. Welcome. Oh, never mind. Armin, where are your sweet? where are your sweets, I asked you? You ate them all, princess. Then I want more. Smeagol, creepers. Let us smeagol. Oh, my God. He's a baker. That's great. Yummy. They look delicious. Show what you for me. Go ahead. Aye, ma'am. The regulation for the trial of fire requires a pretender to the... Uh, pretender, okay. Pretender. pretender to the badge to take on the beast. Number one, the beast cannot be caught. Number two, you cannot flee the beast. End of regulation. Set the... It's literally just a lion. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There's, There's a, a team member dude. I think it's a pyroar. There's a team member dude up there. Oh, it's a Jordigan! I thought it was the first trial was fire. What is this bullshit? Good thing my starter type is fairy. <laughs> yeah, it's just a straight up dread again. I like it. I really like that. Look at that dread again. I want to use dread again on, on like a Unova team, but you don't catch him until like Victor way Roy. later in the game. By the time you should already have a half decent dragon type. Yeah. Yeah, then do shit. But he, but what he did grass not. Oops, that's not grass. Jordigan, it's right oh. there with Tropius as the unfortunate solo stage Pokemon that is both under and over designed. I love it. Grass Knot is physical? Jordigan, uh, I feel bad of, like, I never got to use it, but yeah, no, it is a very cool looking Pokemon. It, Why did Grass Knot activate the fucking rough skin? That's, that's stupid. That's very weird, yeah. The, fa the fact that it's just uh, the Welsh dragon, I like it. I don't hate it, it's just like, I'm. I just feel sorry for it. <laughs> I just wish it showed up earlier. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that just the general problem when it comes to some of these games when there's some really cool Pokemon that don't appear until late game? Yeah. I'm in. The trial is over. Now what? Did you, you bitch. There are two other trials, princess. I want to relax, I mean, Let me relax. Come on. Mm, you could rest while we get ready for the second trial, ma'am. Eh, uh, so be it. The second trial will play take place shortly. But first, I'm going to award you for passing the trial of fire. It just fires a flamethrower at us. Golden cup! I'm out of here! <laughs> How did you put your name in the gold of fire? How did you put your name in the gold of fire? See you soon. That's it? Okay. Lame! Okay. <laughs> well, we'll be doing those trials. We'll be doing the rest of the trials next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you next time <laughs> wait what type would did they say it was fairy so oh. we want to use shimbishir shimbishir no spinhead spinhead shimbishir yeah shimbishir whoops yeah shimbishir right. so great very interesting that they had a dragon alright bye and him the mouse